I bow to all the seekers of truth. Speaking before the doctors, I think of my college days while I was also studying medicine. But luckily or unluckily, our college stopped completely in Lahore and I had to give my studies. Not that I had no faith in this Western education of medicine, but it was a good chance by connecting this to that and understanding what is missing in the Western medical education. The missing point <coughs> is this, that human beings are considered in the medical science <coughs> as something very individual and not connected with the whole. We are all connected with the whole, but how to convince people that you are all connected with the whole and that we are not singled out. As we are connected with the whole, all our problems are connected with the whole. We cannot just consider somebody as a patient of one thing and another patient of another thing. Could be that one person who has one trouble could be having so many other troubles so many other connections which we do not locate in the Western medical science. For example, you see a person medically very sick, maybe, but you don't know what is his mental condition. What is he doing mentally? Is he all right mentally? or only he is physically something wrong with him. Now, actually we know about so many things like, say, <coughs> medically we have names for that. We say that this is a psychosomatic problem or this is a somatic problem, but <laughs> What is the relationship between the two? That we don't know. You'll be amazed, most of our diseases come from psychosomatic, like cancer, which are incurable mostly. Cancer, and we can say AIDS, all such which are supposed to be absolutely incurable and difficult, all of them come with our connection, with our connection, which we are not sure of, with the left side, as we have seen here in the picture, left side, I don't know. We know only the right side, medical science, and that too in such details <laughs> that it is not necessary. You must also know the left side of a human being. And about left side, we are absolutely not aware. For example, a person who is mad, he is in the lunatic asylum, he never gets heart trouble. Why? How has he got mad? What is his connection with ourselves? For example, you take a patient who is suffering, say, from cancer. We know a lot about cancer, no doubt. How viruses target and all that, that we know. 
But how cancer is caused, no one knows. And to what type of people cancer comes in, you don't know. Now these are two, as you see here, two channels within us. One looks after the right side and one looks after the left side. Now if you have a problem in the left side, then problems, psychotensomatic can come in. Supposing your hand is broken or is there some sort of a physical problem, then it's all right. But when it is a complicated psychosomatic trouble, then doctors cannot cure it, I'm sorry to say. Because you don't know the other side of it. What is affecting the patient to get this cancer, you don't know. <coughs> You'll be happy to know in Sahaja Yoga, <coughs> cancer is curable. Curable, if it is at a very early stage, is very easy, but otherwise also. Especially blood cancer is absolutely curable. You'll be amazed that it is such a combination of these two sides of our life that we get into these diseases which are incurable. There's a big list of these incurable diseases which I don't want to tell you, which you know very well. So in all of them there is a complication of the left side. Of course you know about right side very much, Gray's anatomy and after that all you know. But you don't know how you get affected by the left side. So in this lecture I would like to tell you something about the left side, which you have never heard of, maybe, and you don't believe in. The left side belongs to our past, <coughs> to our past in the sense that those people who are futuristic do not get affected by left side. But those people who live in the left side are worried about their left side, are sorry for themselves, whatever it is, they are the ones who get affected. Left-sided person, if I tell you, you will be shocked there, is actually possessed. Possessed by some dead spirit, which must be a knowledge to you. You may not be believing in it, but it is so. It can happen to anyone who gets sad or gets into the left-sided temperament. Also there are so many other things, like these false gurus, what they do, they mesmerize. They mesmerize you with these dead spirits which they have to control. This side of, I should say, not medicine, non-medicine, but whatever it is should be known to the doctors, otherwise you cannot do any curing you can maybe diagnosis you might do, but you cannot cure people who are suffering from psychosomatic troubles. Today's medical problem is that they cannot cure psychosomatic diseases. For that you don't have to spend so many years as we do for a MBBA. It's a very, very short course if you can do that. But for that, firstly, you should be connected to the Divine Force. That's very important. That's not difficult at all. But after that, you have to maintain your spiritual abilities. One of the spiritual ability is innocence. The first chakra that you see is innocence. 
If you are an innocent person, they can, you can easily cure all such people who are suffering from such incurable diseases. I would say that one should first of all try to get Self-realization, that's important. When the Kundalini rises, she pierces through your fontanelle bone area and you are connected with the Divine Force which is all over. You need not believe Me, but you get your Self-realization. If you have your Self-realization, then you will be capable to understand what sort of combination your patient has. Is he only physically suffering? Or he has this combination of left side. The other day I was surprised, a child came to me. He was suffering from meningitis. He got cured. And uh, the parents didn't understand how did he get cured. Then when the boy got cured, I asked him, who is your friend? He said, it's a particular boy who has a particular guru. All right? And I go in his house and go on watching that guru all the time. Can you imagine? There are many doctors also who get involved with these bad gurus. You must know unless and until you are realized, you will not know who is truthful and who is correct. An innocent boy suffering from meningitis and overnight he got cured. You will be amazed at the great experience of Sajjuma. And it is too great a surprise. That's why people don't accept it. But we have many cases by which we can show that people who were supposed to be incurable are cured. So many people, especially with serious diseases like cancer, I mean, in the medical science for cancer they'll go on like this, like that, till they shave you off completely. But not in such a way. Immediately you will know that this man is possessed. Now this line to medical science is absolutely not there. But in our country we always believe in that. We have certain rules and regulations about people who are dead, how to behave, how to go to Svashan and all that. There is a particular type of understanding of all these dead bodies, how they behave, where do they go, and is, I think, a very big part of your knowledge, very big part. So many diseases incurable, you cannot cure, which are mostly coming from the left side. Medical science can cure the right side, I know that, that they can do it. But cancer they'll go on postponing from one to another. They'll cancer, they'll operate, they need to spread, then this and that. Operation is not the way to cure, it's not. If you are expert in Sahaja Yoga, you don't have to operate. Overnight you can cure, overnight you can cure cancer patients, believe me. You are quite capable of doing that, especially Indians, because Indians have a special capacity, I should say what, special blessing of this country. We don't know this country how great it is. but. We are only dealing with the Western education. Now where have they reached these Western people in their experiments? I just don't understand. Their children are taken to drugs. Their families are disturbed. 
everything is so upset. Not that I decry this education, not at all, but it is not complete and you should have the other side of it. Otherwise, don't have a cancer hospital, only have physical things by which you'll work it out. But if you want to have patients of all types, then you must know the other side. There's nothing to be frightened, nothing to be upset, but it's a knowledge which you should have as doctors because I think the medical science is still not complete, that as Dr. Agarwal himself has said it. But what is lacking in it? The knowledge of the left side that we have. Now, if I should say that I didn't read it in any book, I didn't get it from any book, but only when I was Working with Sahaja Yoga, with people, I discovered that compared to India, Western people are much more affected by the left side. Much more, and they cannot understand how they are sick. What has happened to them? Even if you take a very limited area of treatment, of a human welfare, then is a very important part is the left side. Supposing a lady who is all the time crying and weeping and unhappy, she can get cancer. Now there are two types. One also right-sided disease. One is of course the left side. In the right-sided people, who are extremely, I should say, aggressive, extremely overpowering, controlling type people. Of course, they have a very bad liver, I must say. They have a very bad liver. And when they get like that, they cross all the limits. And when they cross all the limits, they get such diseases which you cannot find out, you cannot cure. One of them is the disease of the liver. I think doctors can't cure liver. <coughs> they may try, but can't cure liver as Sahaja Yoga can cure. And such a person whose temperament is so hot-tempered and is so aggressive and this and that, he suffers from that horrible liver and develops all kinds of complications. There are so many other diseases also on the right side, so many other. But mainly I think is a disease of the liver. Liver is live with. And if your liver is out, there is no solution in the allopathy. Maybe a little bit here and a little bit there. But at the climax of it, with a liver one can faint, one can even die. In the West, liver problem is very common. And there is no solution for them for that. They go on living with it and doctors just admit them in the hospital. These are not incurable, they are absolutely curable because we haven't got that knowledge and that's why we call them incurable. No, they are not. I do not want to blame other diseases but there are so many of them which cannot be even diagnosed and which cannot be cured by the medical science, which we must accept first of all that that is the situation. We may go on trying, doing anything, but we cannot cure. So many types of medicines will come out, we cannot. 
because what I'm trying to tell you that's only half part of your being is discussed. In that also so many things are not there. Take it for example asthma. Asthma cannot be cured by doctors, it's a fact. But Sahaja Yoga can absolutely cure asthma. Allergies also can be cured by asthma. Because if you have the roots of all the troubles, if you know about the roots, not pharmaceutical and all that, but real roots, then you can handle the situation and you can cure. You haven't got any yet a college or anything so far if so do. I wish we could. But hospital we have. Uh, we have a hospital in uh, Belapur, they call it New Bombay, where they are treating people. Only they have to pay for their stay. And it's hardly, I think, three hundred rupees per day for poor people. But you don't need any medicine. <laughs> you don't have to pay for anything. For our country, which is so poor, don't you think it's very important? Otherwise you go for x-ray, then you go for a, another test, then for another test and nothing comes out of it. One should only know how to deal with it. Now supposing somebody's leg is broken, fixed, cut his leg, put another leg, no need. I assure you there is no need. Now we have some doctors in Sajuga very good. Some of them are in America, some of them are in Italy, and some of them are in Russia. Our Russian doctors are very good. I don't know how they think that there is something beyond this education, and they are trying to learn it. If you can make any facility, I'll be very happy, but in any case, I'm thinking of starting a Sahaja Yoga hospital in your country, especially in Delhi, in the Greater Noida. Uh, and if some of your doctors can join us, they can help us a lot. In Greater Noida, I'm thinking of starting a college, or we'll call it a school, where we'll get the students as well as doctors who can cure people. And the, it would be, there will be no charges for treatment. Of course, where they stay, if they come and stay there, then they might have to pay for their food, that's all. Otherwise, this is an arrangement I'm having. And anybody who wants to join as a doctor also would like to accept their services. How much will be the pay? I don't know, but not much, I would say. It will be about six thousand to seven thousand per month to a doctor. But he has to be a surgeon and he should know the method of surgery. I think it is one of the very generous feelings that in our country so many die because they cannot get into the hospital, they cannot get treated. You can give some time to this project of mine. I'm sure I'll be able to organize a good hospital for those people. In that we'll have somatic patients as well as psychosomatic patients. All kinds of patients we have. And you will learn so much because it's a very subtle and deep knowledge. It cannot learn it on the book. You have to have experiment with the patient. You will be amazed how you will be curing people. It's not a book knowledge. It's a very, very practical knowledge. And those who have that charitable temperament, 
can do very well and learn a lot. One thing I must tell you, Sahaja so Yoga has one bad point also, that you cannot make money out of Sahaja so you cannot. If you try making money out of it, you fail. Some or other, this money business is a little higher for such a business. They cannot manage things. But you can give such. Now we had a very nice retired doctor in uh, this Bilapur hospital and he did very well. Now he's no one. He worked very hard. But his daughter-in-law is now looking out of that. If you want, if you are retired people, if you are not in need of money, much money, then it's a very good thing. Also we provide a, say, a residence, food, everything. It can be managed, it's not so difficult. But it's not a very money-oriented thing. I must say, since I, I was studying medical, now medical line has become very money-oriented. I'm surprised. I'm sorry to say, but they have become very money-oriented and some of your doctors have gone to America and have befooled people so much and have made so much that you feel ashamed to be an Indian. It's like that. You can't make much money, but as retired people you can join us and help us. And some of you can come to learn Sahaja Yoga. Hardly within, say, month's time you'll be experts. You can diagnose a thing without any delay. You don't have to go to any laboratory or anything. Immediately you'll know what the trouble is. And all sorts of incurable diseases you can try. I'm amazed myself as to how it is working with people. Now all these uh, awards and all that they have given me because I've cured people and done that. But I don't have a hospital there. First hospital I want to have in Delhi. And here I want to work it out. Let us think of working it out ourselves. It's a charitable hospital and it's very sensible. I've already got money to build that. But only thing I have, need some doctors who can help me. It's a very stunning thing. So yoga, if you come, you'll be amazed how it works. I know. We have never been that. We have never been connected to the Divine. We have never used the forces of the Divine. And once you start using those forces, you'll be amazed at yourself. It is said that you should find out who you are. That's not possible unless and until you have your Self-realization. Today in our country we need Self-realized people. All kinds of problems can be solved. Every type of, I should say, quarreling going on, because you become a collective person. You become a person, a personality of for a collective nature. No more fighting, no more is needed. I, mean, I have many Muslim countries who have got realization. Turkey, this uh, Benin, this another one called as Ivory Coast. There are seven countries that side. They are all Muslims converted, you can know, transformed into Sahaja Yoga. It is all the integration of all the religious stages. Understanding of the human abilities, human personality and respect. I mean, it's a very different atmosphere into which you go. It's a very different level of awareness, as you were saying, where you become so peaceful, silent, yet so sweet. So I don't know in this short lecture how much can I tell you about Sahaja Yoga, but it is a very miraculous thing. And please try to get yourself flourished. He has asked me, I think I'll try if I can do that.